I'm Russ McNamara for WWJ. It was a bombshell that apparently blindsided the Detroit Lions. Robert Snell's Detroit News report that new Lions head coach Matt Patricia was indicted for rape back in 1996. Here's the coach in a press conference today. I'm here to defend my honor and clear my name. 22 years ago, I was falsely accused of something very serious, very serious allegations. There were claims made about me that never happened. While I'm thankful on one level that the process worked and the case was dismissed, at the same time, I was never given the opportunity to defend myself or to allow to push back with the truth to clear my name. To discuss how the Lions and their coach responded to the report, we're joined by former reporter Don Tanner, one of the founding partners of strategic communications firm Tanner Friedman. Good evening, Don. Good evening. How are you? Very well, thanks. So how did the Detroit Lions not know about this? That's, that's a, I think, a question for the Detroit Lions. I mean, I, I, I've uh, read or heard that, I mean, you, you can get on online and, and uh, Google a few things and, and find, they could have found out of this, uh, about this in about 30 seconds or so. So um, that's, that's a really good question. Um, I, I think what is maybe the most surprising in all of this, you know, in, anytime it's a lesson for any organization, especially when you're hiring, uh, looking to hire somebody in a high profile position, you really you need to do your due diligence, and um, especially for uh, a, a post in the National Football League after Ray Rice and um, in, 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 the, the, in light of the Me Too movement, um, you, you really need to do your due, due diligence. You've seen the statements put up by both Patricia and upper management. Did either or both take the right tone? I, I think so. I, I, I applaud uh, the Lions um, and, and the way that uh, Matt Patricia handled this. Uh, they did not um, ignore the problem. Uh, they immediately addressed the issue. Uh, there were immediate statements, and then and then uh, Matt went in front of the media today. And uh, I, I like what he said. I, I liked how he was forthright. Um, uh, uh, he he seemed very transparent. And some of the the quotes that that you just played a few minutes ago, you know, the fact that uh, while he's happy that the process um, at the time vindicated him. Um, you know, he was not able to vindicate himself in a public forum. I, I think he did a, a great job today. So how much has public relations changed now that we're firmly in the Me Too movement and women are finally feeling more comfortable with coming out with their stories of abuse and harassment? It's a, you know, it's a slip, slip, slippery slope. I, I, you know, I, I've talked to people. I know quite a few people that, that work in the sports industry and, and there are allegations all of the time. I've heard statistics as high as 75% of those allegations prove out to be false, uh, but you have to look into them uh, because uh, if, if even one is true, uh, that's that's one too many. Um, so I, I think you just have to be mindful of these things, uh, and, and especially in the wake of, 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 of how powerful social media is, um, you just you can't hide from from a crisis. You have to really hit it head on. Uh- the Lions basically called the press conference over after about seven minutes today. Was that a good move, or should P- Patricia said have sat out there in front of other people and let the reporters ask their questions for longer? I did not get a chance to, to, to listen to the whole press conference. I, I think the fact that he did not just issue a statement, uh, that he did take questions, um, I think after a while um, you start to hear the same questions over and over again. So, I, again, I, I applaud the Lions, uh, and I, I applaud the coach for – uh, not trying to hide from this, uh, but 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 being uh, right there and, and answering as many questions as uh, as they deemed appropriate at that time. Don Tanner is a former WWJ reporter turned PR guy for Tanner Friedman. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you.